G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is the Artist Showcase series where you guys send me your artwork via jazza.newgrounds.com which you can get the instructions to at the end of the video and I show 10 of them a week in this video series and uh, a bunch of other ones are also shown on the Tumblr page which you can find the link to in the description. So getting started we're going to look at the artwork of some people who are more beginners and have just made some fantastic progress. The first is a piece by Saji and Large and it's called Twins. It's a piece which is divided into two and we have uh, fairly opposing colour schemes and themes. So on the left we have a fairy looking kingdom in character with a bit of an eagle in the distance and then on the right we have a bit more of a demonic looking character with a dragon in the distance. It's visually quite a nice piece. I like the symmetry of it and the way that they complement each other and it's been pretty well painted and they've made some fantastic progress. Next piece is by artist Rainth Strive and it's called The Legend Begins Anew. This piece was drawn in traditional medium, so paper on pencil, and was then bought into Photoshop and coloured in. This is a piece revolving around the Zelda series and is well put together, and I think that they've done a pretty good job in converting the traditional artwork into a digital artwork, in particular in the optimization and then the colouring after. They've just done a great job, and I look forward to seeing more from this artist. The next artist is Dead Nut, who made this piece called Shinoburai. Shinoburai? It's like a shinobi samurai, I assume. This artist has made some fantastic progress and this piece in particular really speaks for itself. It's got that really nice edging on the outside which complements a strong silhouette and pose. And the simplistic but hard edged nature of the shading and colouring is really effective and they've done a great job. Our next piece is by artist I Per Was and it's called Romance and this piece at first glance is very clear and uh, simplistic but at the same time very detailed and stunning. It's just aesthetically gorgeous. The way that they've painted this hair and captured that really velvety feel of the skin and the hair and the really nice profile of the side of the female's face, it's just really really well done. The shading is subtle and soft but really appropriate. I really like the areas of the deep shading for instance under the chin and neck where it goes into a, this darker area without it being too harsh and then of course the highlights are really quite soft and again that velvety texture is really captured. Our next piece is by artist Solanu and it's called Villain. We featured a piece from this artist in the past of a similar sort of anime looking high resolution piece and again it's just stunning. The absolute crisp nature of the line work, the really slick colouring and the very very subtle effects that really make the piece pop are just astounding. They've done a fantastic job. I really like the edge shading and how simple it is like the uh, rim lighting on the side of the face and the hands and, and things like that mixed with the really thin but crisp line work just makes the whole piece pop out really well and the colouring is really well done too. Our next piece is by artist Nikos Studios and it's called Soldier Practice and this is this artist's first submission to the showcase and new grounds as I can tell. Both the soldier and the background were painted from separate reference photos and then compiled into this picture as a complete piece which is quite effective and well done. There's obviously a clear understanding as to the use of these Photoshop uh, painting techniques and I look forward to seeing more that this artist can do. Our next piece is by artist I'm Costa Long and it's called Lord Vegeta Anime Realism and it's pretty self-explanatory We've got our Prince of Saiyans here and we can see that it's just astoundingly well painted. I would have appreciated a slightly higher resolution, um, but the overall feeling of the piece is just astounding. I love the harsh nature of the lighting so that it's very strong in the highlights and then nice and deep in the shadows and that there's a very quick transition from one to the other. The other thing I have slight issue with is uh, the size slash shape of his nose and mouth, um, but they're only minor. Like that's if I was being picky because the overall feeling of the piece is astounding especially those sparks around him to emanate that power feel it's just really well done next piece is by artist warty newton it's called into the desert and the aesthetic of this piece and the overall tone just hits the nail on the head it's fantastic the description says that it's two guys exploring a futuristic polluted industrial site which gets the point across quite easily visually so you can clearly understand that that's what is happening but the conveyance of atmosphere is really well done so when we're in the foreground when we have that uh, metallic object in the top right and the character on the bottom right uh, it's very clear very kind of hard edged and a nice crisp feel and then as we go further and further away we mix into that murky yellowy brown uh, more and more which really adds to that foggy feeling and really makes the whole piece add to that polluted feeling it's just really well done our next piece is by artist Surfside Aaron and it's called Star Wars Hoth Defense 
It's a fantastic piece. There are a few things I love about this. First of all, there's this mixture of simplicity and shading and then also crisp detail and shading. So when you look at the high resolution piece, parts of the snow and areas that don't necessarily require a lot of detail like figures in the distance and some of the explosion or smoke or the uh, blurry flying jet, they're quite simplistic in their shading and just strokes in the right places. That's what she said. Whereas when you look at a few certain things that are focuses of the image, in particular the turret on the left and the character in the central bottom part of the image, they're just so detailed and hard edged, really crisp, a great amount of gritty texture and really clear understanding of lighting and things like that. Our final piece and feature of the week, ladies and gentlemen, is by artist Russ Fairchild and it's called Water Elemental. This artist has improved every time they've sent in an artwork and this piece has just blown me away. It's completely fantastic. There's a huge amount of detail, but the overall composition is just so well balanced. We've got this nice strong energy emitting to the middle from the right side of the image where the large proportion of the central figure is. And the understanding of light and shade, uh, the use of cool colors, but a mix of variants of the cool colors rather than just a single tone of that cool color and uh, really great use of detail all come together in a fantastic piece. I really like the way that this has come across and I'm really pleased to see Russ Fairchild continue to improve and send in some ambitious pieces and this one is just a step up so fantastic work and a well-deserved feature of the week. That, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of this week's Artist Showcase. Thank you very much for joining me. Again, if you want to submit your artwork to the showcase, you can wait till the end of the video and it will take you to a, a bit of a description as to how to enter the showcase. Otherwise, make sure to go to the Tumblr page and check out other entrants to the showcase. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you later. Do you want a chance for your artwork to be featured in the next showcase video? Upload your artwork to the art portal on newgrounds.com. Send me a link to your artwork by going to jazza.newgrounds.com and click send a private message. Make sure to include the word showcase in capital letters in the message title and give me a link to your piece of art. Please be considerate of my time by submitting no more than one image per week to the artist showcase and make sure it's on newgrounds.com. Thanks for checking out this week's showcase. I look forward to seeing your art in the future.